Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good. So I wanted to come on here and talk about the whole Todrick Hall situation, okay? So if you guys don't know who Todrick Hall is, he is a dancer, singer, songwriter, very, very talented man. Um, he's been out here doing all types of dance moves, music videos, on YouTube, on television. Um, I also believe that he's done stuff with RuPaul's Drag Race. He's like best friends with Taylor Swift. Honey, he's been living his best life, okay? And so now, after all of that, He's now being exposed for basically using people for services, using dancers, using people as much as he can to get what he can out of them. Then he spits them out and throws them away without paying them. So what first happened is back on October 18th, a young man named Tomography on um, Instagram decided to basically blast Todrick Hall. Somebody asked him how it was working with Todrick and he decided to be all the way honest. I'm gonna go ahead and just read you guys some of the most important parts of his post because he was sending a bunch of messages. I'm just gonna go ahead and read a few things. So go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. So, Tomography says, a bunch of folks have asked about my experience working with Todrick, and I know it's no surprise, but just going to tell you all now, yes, your reservations about the fella are valid. Then he goes on to say, which is sad because he is talented indeed, but that talent is squandered by coonery, baby, whitewashed to hell, miserably unprofessional, and also does not pay. I've done two videos for him now. The first one was nails hair hips and heels was unpaid because he needed over 60 plus dancers and says that he didn't have the budget to pay us then don't use dancers the fuck but i did it i thought it'd be great opportunity three-day rehearsal then a full day of shooting from 9 a.m to about 9 p.m in heels no pay cool the coon jumped out on set a lot of black gays were standing behind him in the shot and he turned around and says, this is looking a little too chocolate. Can I get some lighter people behind me? Child, me and one of his tour dancers locked eyes and made the same face over it. He boasted about how he dropped 60K on making the video, but the dancers saw none of it. Now at 20 million views on YouTube, we helped him create some of the best content ever, monetized too, so I'm sure we generated an amount somewhere in the hundreds of thousands. He hit me up a few months later to be a part of this disastrous wig video. I politely declined, knowing there'd be no pay. Then he said that he absolutely needed me for another video because he only wanted two dancers, like single ladies, and it would be paid. The F, I think he's trying to say fag. Um, that's the name of his video, so don't sit here and tweet me about homophobia, assholes. Um, he says the video... Now I turned down being a cute ass extra on Insecure's HBO season four for this shit, only to be ghosted with no pay after the video was done. Then he goes on to say a bunch of other stuff, but I'm not gonna waste my time reading all that. It's just a sob story. So anyways, so that was the first dancer to blast him for not paying. Then a few days later, his personal assistant, who did not sign an NDA, decided to blast him um, and stated that he's not only, you know, cheap, doesn't pay people, uses people, um, he's a racist, but he also sexually harasses young men as well, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys what his former um, assistant was saying about him. Go ahead and check this out. So the former assistant says, I was at Todrick Hall's personal assistant for years and I know every detail of his life, including deliberate non-payment to people, racism, sexual assault, sexual harassment, online bullying, exploitation, illegal business practices, the list goes on. P.S. I never signed an NDA. Then he says, I remember when I was on tour with Todrick during the Straight out of Oz and Chester Lockhart aggressively came behind me on the tour bus and put his hands down my pants and grabbed my peen. In the legal world, we call this sexual assault. Todrick punished me after I told him. Then he goes on to say, Todrick has an obsession with strippers and escorts. He treats his regular employees like they are sex workers, grabs their asses daily, and pulls his peen out in front of assistants and dancers constantly. This is his ex he attacked on social media, who was a backup dancer on the tour. You should have seen how much he spends on OnlyFans and flying boys. I've watched him not pay people who work to build his career, but then drop hundreds of thousands on boys daily. Going to strip clubs, hiring escorts was part of my job, which got messy. 
And he goes on to show screenshots of um, conversations with those escorts. And then on top of that, he also posted a link to the sexual harassment lawsuit that he filed against Todrick. So he says, the link to the sexual harassment lawsuit that at Todrick settled this year. I've seen him sexually assault more. Unfortunately, he's a predator and more will come out. He has threatened me severely for my silence, but he needs to be stopped. Honey. The rabbit hole goes deep with this one, okay? So after he put all that out there, he then started asking people to come forward with their stories, if they had been wronged by um, Todrick Hall. You know, basically they turned into the whole mean girl situation. Like, if Regina George has ever done you wrong, raise your hand. And so many people came forward basically blasting Todrick Hall, mainly about non-payment and how he does not look out for people who have helped him in his career. So I want you guys to go ahead and check this out. So Tommy um, goes on to say, people are ready to spill the tea on Todrick Hall. He has hurt you too. Let's share some stories. So a lady says, I don't want to tweet out my page because I'm a nobody and I don't need Todrick's drama, but I fully believe you. He used my child and his boys were pink video where he was only six at the time. He held us on two different sets for over 12 hours, which is illegal for children. Only gave the kids granola bars, chips, and juice as food. Didn't fucking pay him. And didn't even put his name in the end credits for a visual album like all the other adult dancers. It's bullshit. He's awful. Somebody else says, I'm still waiting for merch I ordered two years ago. He robbed my ass. So then after the threat started going crazy with people blasting Todrick, Todrick then decided to address the initial guy, Tom, T-H-O-M, tomography, who had blasted him. And so this is what Todrick had the same response. Todrick says, my comment, I adore Tom and I love him. This is surprising to me that he hasn't been paid yet. He will be paid not because he's trying to expose me, but because he deserves it. I only got two texts, no calls. I was overseas opening my tour and that video has only been out for about two weeks. Well, then Melania Luzon, who's a drag queen who's also verified on Twitter, replied back to Todrick and she goes, well, you still owe me for hosting your Halloween party last year, so. Honey. So it looks like Todrick Hall is a messy queen who goes around shitting on people and, and not paying them what they're worth. Now, there's a lot of blame to go around with this situation, okay? Let, let's keep that real. Like I said in my Meg The Stallion video, if you guys have not watched that, check that out with her and the makeup artist going back and forth. You have to know your worth, okay? And at the end of the day, people in LA are shitty. They will try and use you, you know what I'm saying? Use you until they can't use you no more than spit you out once they're done okay so many people in LA try to get away with that you know oh well you'll get exposure you know we'll tweet it out people will know you they try to use exposure as if it's money and it's not okay but this is what they do in LA that's why you have to be your own advocate that's why you have to be your own voice and that's why if you feel like you're being used you should not go back because people treat you the way you allow them to treat you. So when he took the first job and he was willing to go to practice three day rehearsals for three days straight with no payment. And then the day of the shoot, they were there for over 12 hours in high heels, no payment. He set the stage for how Todrick Hall would treat him. So when Todrick reached out to him and begged him to do the video again, at that point, Tom should have stood his ground because when people show you their true colors, believe them. But what did he do? He decided to give in, go work with Todrick Hall. He claimed it would just be him and another dancer. They'd get all this credit, they'd get paid, only for Todrick Hall to ghost him and not pay him once again. So the whole situation is crazy. The only reason why Todrick is speaking out and talking about, oh, I'm gonna pay him, because he knows there's records with that man on set, and that is against the law. You cannot hire people for work and then not pay them. So if he's doing this, he can definitely get in trouble legally. Now, as far as the mom whose six-year-old child worked on set with Todrick for six hours and was not paid, wasn't fed properly, 
I blame Todrick, but I also had to blame the mother. So while you're mad that your child was there for 12 hours and you guys weren't paid, that is your fault, okay? As a mother, it is your job to protect your child and do what's in your child's best interest, okay? There should have been contracts signed. There should have been negotiations. There should have been everything. There's no way in hell I would have my six-year-old child on set for 12 hours even if he was getting paid, that's not okay. I know how much that drives an adult crazy, okay? I would go crazy on the set of Straight Outta Compton because we'd be on set for 17 hours a day. Literally, we'd get there at like 6 o'clock in the morning and would not leave till 1 a.m. the next day, okay? And I know how much that took a toll on me mentally because I've never done anything in life for 17 hours straight. So I can imagine what that toll took on a child, especially when he's not being fed a nutritious meal, he's not being fed dinner, it's past his bedtime. So that is your fault as a mother. And that is the problem is that too many people will see these celebrities, people with a following, and all common sense goes out the window. Because he's Todrick Hall, you felt like, you know what, it'll be worth it, I'll sacrifice my child's sanity and everything else because of who Todrick Hall is. Shame on you as a mother, okay? That child shouldn't have been on set no more than about six to eight hours at the most. And he definitely should have been paid. And if Todrick is out here not paying children and people who are making him money, shame on you, okay? I went to Google his net worth and he is worth over $4 million. So him shitting on people and not paying them is BS, especially when they're putting in work, making your videos what they are. You would be nothing without your background dancers. You would be nothing without all these people coming together to bring your vision to life, okay? So for you to not pay them, but then still monetize the content is bullshit. They should at least been paid their daily wage, if not more. If not something on the back end. They should at the very minimum have been paid their daily wage. And I cannot stand when celebrities and other people use folks and they use their status as an excuse to why they can use people. Oh, well, do you know who I am? I'm verified. I'm here. I'm there. I run with Taylor Swift. This will be good exposure for you. But knowing damn well if Taylor Swift played you like that and paid you an exposure, you wouldn't go for it. You'd be about your check when it comes to a real life celebrity. But then y'all turn around and shit on people who are not on the same level as you, you know what I'm saying, in this so-called entertainment scope. And the sad thing is this is not rare. This happens to a lot of dancers. I have a lot of dancer friends in LA and I can't tell you how many horror stories where they go to auditions, they go to try out, they book the job only to find out they will be compensated in so-called exposure. But they're having to memorize and learn dance moves, risk their body, risk their limbs, doing flips, you know, just all types of stuff. They're putting wear and tear on their body for exposure. That is bullshit. Now, as far as the sexual harassment, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, like I always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. And there had to be some truth to it because the, the personal assistant, Tom, he went and sued Todrick. Because Todrick wasn't paying him. He also in that lawsuit has um, sexual harassment. He has all types of stuff in that lawsuit. And Todrick quietly settled with him. If you know that you're not guilty of this, you're not going to settle. So the fact that he settled makes me feel like what the personal assistant is saying is true. But my issue is this. You were a personal assistant running behind Todrick Hall for years. So why now are you blasting him? You watch him sexually harass young men. You watch his behavior be atrocious. You watch him play people who helped make him, not pay them, but then you help to facilitate him paying escorts and strippers and flying people in to fuck him and everything else. So you were definitely okay with it. You were just as guilty participating in the fuckery, but now you want to blow the whistle. Well, now at this point, I have to ask you, well, what are your intentions? You know what I'm saying? Because you were okay with it up until you started getting shitted on. So now I feel like you're only trying to be a whistleblower because now you're looking for attention. Now you're looking to get your followers up. And what's the best way to get attention on social media? Attack somebody bigger than you. That's the best way. Bitches do that shit all the time, okay? But that's not to say that what he's saying is not valid. That's not to say that Tyler Carl is not out here harassing people. But when I see situations like this, I see a lot of blame to go around, you know, minus the child because the child is a minor. He cannot control anything at the age of six. But you have a lot of thirsty people who put up with bullshit because of who Tadra Call is, and that's not okay. Even the lady um, from Drag Race, the one that was saying that she hosted a party for him last year and he didn't pay her, I mean, that to me is ridiculous. Why are you sitting here using people when you have more than enough money to look out for others?
At the end of the day, he knew that he owed these people money. He knew that he owed that man money who helped um, do the dances in his video. Because I believe he's trying to deflect from the sexual abuse allegations. That's why he's talking about the whole pay thing. But you know when you owe people money. You know that if you have a whole cast of people dancing for you and, and rehearsing for two, three days, that they should be paid. And you know how that is as an up-and-coming dancer. You're struggling. And a lot of people, like I said, in the dance world, they get played a lot in L.A. A lot of people love dancers, having them on set because they make the video look good. They make the video pop. But then they act like they don't want to pay them. Same thing when they use video girls. You know, they use them as moving props. They look good. Their bodies are on point. But then it's all this mush mouth shit when it comes time to cutting a check. But they'll make sure that the producer is paid, the videographer is paid, the lighting tech. They'll make sure all the technical people are paid, but then they'll play the dancers and the models and stuff like that. And I went through the same thing when I moved to LA. I had to learn fast that if you allow people to use you, they will definitely take advantage. I remember I spent a two-day shoot shooting for this girl, you know, for her fashion show and everything. Um, she needed a videographer. You know, me and her stylist worked something out. He ended up booking me for the job. Followed her around for two days, got all types of footage, went to the fashion show, did all the editing, did all this work for free. Because at the time she was supposed to, you know, basically shop me out, get the video to, you know, to certain people in the industry who could help out and get me more video work. And when everything was said and done, I gave her the video, I posted it. My video that I did on her got more views than any video she's ever put online. But when everything was said and done, I didn't even get a thank you from this girl. Not even a thank you. And I'm sitting here, you know, sending her messages on um, Instagram, sending her messages on Twitter, no response. So people will use you in LA for your talents and then act like they don't know you. So what was so funny, about a year later, she tried to have her stylist contact me again. They wanted to hire me to film, you know, another event that she was doing. And guess what Titi told her? Go fuck yourself. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. There won't be no twice. Ain't gonna be no shame on me. I learned my lesson the first time. When somebody shows you their true colors and they hand you their ass to kiss, that's it with me. If you can't even give me a simple thank you for all the hard work that I did, the editing, the shooting, all the work I put in, I would never work with that person again. That's why I always tell people, watch who you step on on your way up. Because the same folks you see on your way up, honey, will be the same people that you'll see on your way down. So if Todrick Hall stepped on so many people to get to where he's at today, his fall will definitely be great, okay? So watch how you treat people. Nobody's saying that you have to cut these people a $1,000 check to every dancer, but at least pay them the regular non-union union rate, okay? At least pay them what they're supposed to get, regardless if they're union or non-union. Because that's not going to hurt you at the end of the day because... All that stuff is going to be a tax write-off to you. So to me, if he's not paying people, he's just flat out being greedy, especially when he's worth over $4 million. So I just find this whole situation just really, really sad. You know what I'm saying? I'm very surprised to hear about anything like this with Todd Recall. To me, he's been pretty non-problematic, but again, I don't, you know, watch him all like that. You know, I know people have called him out for him cooning and being racist in the past and saying that, you know, he has issues with black people and he's always, you know, mixing and mingling with white folks. I have heard that about Todrick. But, you know, whatever, that's Hollywood for you. People like to switch up as soon as they get fame. All of a sudden, there's too much damn chocolate. We need a mixture. We need to be inclusive and all that goofy stuff. So, you know, it's to be expected, but this entire situation is insane. And I believe that now that some of you are coming forward about not being paid, the people who were sexually harassed by Todd Recall, they will be the next people running to come and spill his tea. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Todrick Hall basically being accused of not paying people and then also sexually harassing people, sexually harassing his staff, using folks. So the whole gambit about Todrick Hall is looking really bad at this current time. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Also, make sure you hit the thumbs up and the notification bell so that way you can be down with the notification squad. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know what you guys think about this entire Todd Recall situation. All right, deuces.